In this video, we are going to point out the basic parts of the Word Search 11 program, and we're going to briefly describe what they are and what they do. To start off with, this whole area from top to bottom and from side to side is referred to as the program window. At the top of the program window is the title bar. The title bar tells you what program you are running and what version of the program you are running. It also tells you what desktop you are at. Right below the title bar is the main menu bar. The main menu bar contains items that help you do a lot of things such as start many of the different features in the program. Unlock your books. Run the backup program and configure the program with special settings. The big three tabs at the top of the program window are the Home tab, the Study tab, and the Library tab. Let's take a quick look at the Home tab first. At the right side of the Home tab, we have our News window. It includes things like our company news, summaries about our books on sale, and direct links to our books so that you can take advantage of our sale prices. At the left side of the Home tab are links to helpful sites that will show you how to use our program, help you get closer to God, and keep you teaching and preaching. The next tab we will look at is the Library tab. Here is where you will see all your books. You can also see your other resources in the Library tab. Just go to this box in the upper left corner and click on a different resource category. If I click on Bookmarks, I can see my bookmarks. If I click on Verse Lists, I see all the verse lists that I have created. And if I click on My Documents, I'll see all the documents that I have created and saved in the program. To see your library books in their own respective categories, click on Library at the top of the Resource section. Then go down to this bigger pane below and click on a category. If you just want to see your Bibles, click here. If you just want to see your commentaries, click here. And when you see a book you want to open, just click on it and it will open in the Study tab. The Study tab is where your books will open. This is where your documents will open. This is where you will create your sermons, your lessons, and do many other things. At the top of the Study tab is a toolbar that you will not see anywhere else. This is the main toolbar. The icons on the main toolbar allow you to open many of the power features that come with Word Church 11. This big area that my Bibles and commentary are on, this is referred to as the desktop. When you open your books, they open on top of the desktop. When you open a book, it opens up inside of a book window. At the top of every book window is a navigation window. The navigation window allows you to go from one page to another. To turn pages in a Bible, click on this little down arrow. Click on one of the Bible books. Click on a chapter number. 
and click on a verse number. For the sake of time and convenience, I purposely left out a lot of things about this program. But if you want to know more, please look through our list of other videos.